DHT. I was sitting there waiting for my friend to show up and we were going to go on a little car trip from Cali to Oregon for a week or two. It would be good to get away from all the crowded people and the people on the beach and everything and get some good old different sea life as well. It would be good because we were going to go look for some even rare mushrooms that we could get some five star places in town that would pay top dollar. At least a thousand so easy so we stopped at the local gas station to fill up, got some snacks and the gas station attendant asked us where we were headed all the way we said Devil's Lake State Park. Ah, well be careful out there. They got some steep hills and things. Some cliffs, I said. Thanks, I think we can handle it. Hee <laughs> hee. That's what most say, but don't come out. Come back out. Just look over there at the wall, young one. If you don't believe me. I went and looked over there. And it was a stack of uh, missing persons people pinned to the wall. Like two months ago, one girl, age 24, from around here, I think, I heard something about it on the radio, but did not think anything of it till now. Are you sure you still want to go? Uh, yeah, I still want to go. I'm not going to mess out on my mushroom payday. I did not come all this way to leave empty-handed. Well, let's exit the store and get our goodies and fill up. We were going to park and walk a few miles out until I started seeing some signs of the right mushrooms so I started to find some so I said let's camp out here so we picked one or two the ones we want to find so I put them in my bag and we were walking down this trail we see something fast but it looked like it had some sort of clothing on a red and blue outfit if I come to think of it that's right so we kept walking down and then it just stands there in the middle of the trail, facing the other way, doing something looks like digging of sorts. We get within a few feet from it, and it yelps out. We see a few more get behind the trees, and then I see my friend over there playing with his hat. How the heck did you grab his hat without me noticing? Well, I don't know. Did you switch dimensions or something? What do you mean? Do you look at your clothes? Now he looks down and sees that he's not wearing the clothes of the ones we saw in the middle of the trail. He says, what the heck? It's not normal. We have captured his voice. Your friend here, as you can see, I hear one behind you say, we also know that you have been picking our mushrooms, he says. We want our mushrooms back. I say, no, they are mine. He says, okay then, you will suffer the wrath of the almighty troll king. Then I start hearing rumbling of sorts through the forest. Then all the birds and the animals start to scatter all over the place. Thump, thump, branches breaking. Thump, thump. Then you hear this loud roar. Trail and broad shoulders. Long haired, eight pack. Raggedy clothes, half torn shirt. Where the rips were torn with holes looking like uh, some holes of some sort, looking with a fire in his eyes, ready to strike at any minute. He raises, he gets ready for a swing. I do a duck roll away from him. I don't really have anything except for maybe some roadside flares in my backpack. So I pull it out and try to look for a lighter. I found it in my front pocket of my jeans. I go over there for a minute and I go run over there and pull my pocket knife out and start to stab him in the arm with the club. But then he slaps me to the ground. I hit hard, almost knocking me out. I get up quickly and look and see my friend is sitting there clapping his hands like he's like under some sort of spell. Like uh, New York City back in the day when they would have m monkeys that dance, that's what he was like to me. After I was able to get the nine foot monster down for dead and also cut his head off for a little trophy, the little creatures of the forest did not like that, that I had cut the head off. So I placed it at the entrance of the portals to where other realms to let others know that your little tricks will not work no more and the Devil's Lake State Park for it might be your last time to go shroom hunting. We will see about that one time's in, and that's all you hear is the portal closing, swish, swish. Then it pulls me back into there. We'll be waiting for some other lost people to come through this area of the woods where we'll be ready and waiting.
Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.